bots that kill somebody when you Grimstroke ult them with a double lion finger or something. It's enough. It's enough. They have enough resources all over the board. They just need to tie them together very, very nicely. Since Team Orca, oh boy, these guys are looking scary. I agree. I think their bases are covered. They have a lot of magic damage, a lot of control, a lot of uh, physical damage from TA. They have different uh, flexible progressions. They can play Pango with Diffusal Blades. They can play Pango with Race Pack. They can play the regular Pango with a lot of... some kills right freaking now. I think this game could be over before it restarted. Nice okay. silence. Yeah, that's just gonna be a dead Pango. No Rolling Thunder. You don't have to worry about old cooldowns if the enemy just doesn't get to cast their old good. Back when we talked about the odds and everything during the draft. Doesn't look like it. And this is actually the team ragdoll we love and remember. On the bottom lane now. Young God. On that Monkey King getting caught out. Ouch. Why is setting up in the middle lane? Slow doesn't connect, I believe, on Bog, but it doesn't matter. He's gonna get unlocked or not. He's not gonna get unlocked. That's a good counter to the Spangalier. Grimstroke is not allowing him to do anything. Now, Prey comes out from the Hoodwing. That's more than enough for Team Orc right here. It's okay, maybe not. Counter counter attack from TNC this time again, and they will find the TA, the TA exactly the kill they needed. Queen of Pain Ultimate comes and deals a lot of damage to the Death Prof. Death Prof kept himself alive. Still going, Monkey King Ultimate committed, and Queen of Pain goes on down. Uh, they are looking for more, can't see anybody, okay. Just push, they say, and then get ourselves back. That Prophet Telep lost your main win condition. Nix Assassin gets himself caught, ends up stunning four people there. But hey, that is that. It's still a much needed pick up for TNC, who. She is really high net worth, uh, and uh, she is uh, rapidly approaching BKB timing. And while this BKB is not uh, available, I feel like they need to be uh, trying to find as much as possible. Now they are losing Snapfire, Monkey King doesn't want to help her teammate, but and I completely understand him. Uh, there is nothing he could have done in this situation. But he ultimate, so he can rely on his armor. Oh, they are gonna die for TA, okay, because that's the other option, just kill TA. If you can't get your Monkey King pet, then just kill the PA. Either one keeps VT faded from just out carrying the Monkey King. And it looks like they're gonna try to do both with the Nexus as being a plus one. But ends up accidentally stealing the kill with those exorcism ghosts, but they'll just find a Pangolier as an added bonus. That you see that uh, they managed to get uh, the lead back to 1k only for the oh, side of Porto and Counter They're gonna try again! But they engaged on Citrus, the second Neeks was engaging on Fabian. Now we are gonna see Yahweh a bit caught out Monkey King. They are just running in one after another. As now Death Prophet gets killed up as well, and Monkey King kind of awkwardly stands there. Oh, the initiation is completely whipped. All thanks to um, from the Snake's Assassin, he is setting up in the top lane. He might be catching the young god. Is he actually going for the stun? Oh, he misses it! Out of the mark, silence there to counter, and the exorcist immediately pressed. TNT, they've just been waiting for that. That Prophet gets killed off even with PKB as Queen of Pain Ultimate, very much pure damage. Fabi, not gonna be able to get himself out. May have traded enough space for Yaoi there. I still don't think they'll make it in terms of the time window. 10k gold is simply too much at 25 minutes, but oh boy. Looks like it'll be 11k instead as Nix Assassin once again. Just sitting there in this, in this waiting for somebody to be dumb enough to spike to. And on the bottom lane, GY gets taken. Has been a success so far. It's not like Templar Assassin isn't doing her job there. But if the oh, Pangolier this time around gets disabled, gets Shine silenced up. No Rolling Thunder, Queen of Pain for the BKB, but at least gets herself out. No such luck for the Hoodwink. Hoodwink just gets to suffer, and not just the hood Hoodwink. This is gonna be support killing fast. Actually, Snapfire got herself out of there for a little while. Monkey King throws down the ultimate, but that's Death Prophet. During that exorcism, still killed up Templar Assassin. Simply not answered. There's nothing they can do against. That's you, you know. That's that's not a strong, uh, hard concept to grasp. Well, how do you want to protect against this? Death Prophet just kind of gets left by her team, and they're all forced to flee. But it's not gonna matter with Citrus just blinking forward. Finish. Monkey King shouldn't disassemble his BKB. Keep the Echo Saber going for fast and farm. And that just goes to show 
how hard it is to estimate what the right play is here. Because I honestly get just as much as twice as much stuff from Ryan God, he doesn't even get the arena out and he doesn't Yeah, he, he, he really can't do anything. You have, do have my back on the scrim stroke, you do have my back on Yoi if you want to, uh, but. Uh, you can't defend your base at this point. In Grimstroke, she just dies to ultimate from uh, Hoodwink, doesn't have a buyback, and that's gonna be two lanes of barracks, uh, most because. Uh, you know, maybe it's not the lane that's supposed to kill TA early on, but it's definitely a lane that's not supposed to die to TA early on. Uh, you have Snapfire and you have uh, Death Prophet, one of the more tankier supports and one of the most sustainable cores in the game. And so you're, you're dying, you're giving away first blood. That's not something that should be happening. Now it's Desperation Smoke, maybe trying to contest Roshan, and the smoke is revealed, no information gathered, and they just, uh, they just run in um, and run away because they are scared. And they should be scared. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think there's anything they can really do about this road situation. Carlo goes on down, starts himself with one kick. Oh, he could have just done a really nice arena there. Tied it against it sadly, and when he turned time, he realized that it made so the nice, it was too late. Now the Void Spirit goes on down, and even with the Neek success now buying back, things are getting scary by the second time. He comes around the corner, just saying, like, hey guys, triple kill. Has 22 bonus damage on the Desolator and the game is gonna end. Didn't even get to the maximum Desolator damage. Because he, honestly, he doesn't need to. TA, Bango, I, I feel like those heroes are meta for a reason. And Timor could do claim game one, but uh, as, as it was expected. It was said that they are probably favorites in this game. I don't know what bookmakers are thinking about.